In a recent video, I talked about the value of reducing complexity in your business and professional life. I'd like to share six ways that you can actually do just that in this video. So let's say you want to reduce complexity in the company that you're running or just in your own professional life. Let's go over some ideas and examples on how you can do just that. The first idea is to have a simpler business model. Simple business models can actually be quite profitable and successful. Examples would be Chipotle and Tesla, two companies that don't offer a lot of products and yet they've continued to grow over time. Sure, Tesla is starting to need to reinvent a bit and introduce some new models, but they're working on that. In the meantime, they've sold a heck of a lot of electric cars with just a few models. And they're the world's most valuable car company the last time I checked. Chipotle has continued to grow and they barely ever introduce new additions to their menu because they keep the line simple. Simple for customers, simple for employees. It just works and people continue to go there. I had a meal there just recently. All right, idea number two, make tough decisions and let projects go that don't make sense anymore. Recent examples of that, Goldman Sachs decided to end their push into consumer banking. It seemed to make a lot of sense a few years back but since it just didn't work out right, they've made the tough decision to let it go. How about Apple and their interest in developing an electric car? A lot of people very excited about that project. They had people employed on that project for some time, but recently it just didn't make sense anymore. So they made the tough decision to let it go. These are ways to simplify your business and your professional life because you're managing less, right? How about going even more extreme and breaking up parts of the company? This recently happened with General Electric. General Electric has been around a very long time before certain states even became states. That's how long. But they made the tough decision of breaking up. And now GE Aerospace owns the original ticker of GE. There's also GE Vernova and GE Healthcare. These are separate parts of what was once a whole company. Tough decision, right? Probably in the long run, it might make more sense to be separately operated companies. GE Aerospace has increased their dividend by 250% and the stock seems to be doing quite well. So we'll wait and see how that works out, but certainly reduce complexity for the people running the former company and now the ability to focus on one area such as healthcare. How about breaking up your role? Could you do that and simplify your professional life? Jack Dorsey did it. He used to run Twitter and Square. Well, you know who owns Twitter now? Well, what was formerly known as Twitter and Square is now Block and Jack Dorsey just runs block. So you can break up your role. You also see CEOs take on a COO because it's just too much to run the company without a COO. Or sometimes other roles are created to help simplify a leader's professional life. So could your role be broken up? Are you wearing too many hats and have you been doing it for too long? Consider the opportunity there. Now I said consider the opportunity, but don't consider too many opportunities because this complicates your professional life and your business. Warren Buffett is famous for saying that he passes on most of the opportunities that come his way. Really successful people say no to almost everything. Hmm, how about you? Do you say no to almost everything? Or do you say yes to too much? And maybe which then creates open loops in your mind rather than just saying no. So this idea 
of simplifying your professional life by saying no to almost everything might be a real breakthrough opportunity for you. How about just simplifying the operating structure of the company? Bayer's CEO has recently decided to re remove multiple layers of middle management. It's quite a change in the operating structure of the company. We're not sure yet exactly how it's going to work out, but other companies have done this. They've removed bureaucracy or gotten rid of some corporate bloat. There are times when you look at the company and you don't recognize it anymore because it's grown into something different than what you originally envisioned or different than what you'd like to run. So can you simplify the operating structure of the company to make it easier to run and reduce complexity? There are many different ideas that I've shared with you here, six to be exact, and any one of those could make a big difference for you in your business or in your professional life, and probably both. I hope you'll take these ideas seriously and really consider, is it possible to edit and make changes that are going to really represent transformations to the business in your life? I hope so. If you have other ideas, please place them in the comments below. I'd love to hear about them. If this video has helped stimulate your thinking, then please like it, comment on it, and share it with others who could also benefit by editing in their business or in their professional life. And of course, subscribe to the channel to receive new videos as they're released, mostly weekly. And if you'd like to consider getting coaching to make tough decisions, to reduce complexity, or perhaps even have a whole team getting coached. I work with leadership teams as well as leaders and executives to make decisions like these that come from your ideas. I'm a coach, so I don't tell you what to do in these videos. I share ideas, but in coaching sessions, the ideas need to come from you. And then we'll work together on how to actually get it done. Email me at michael at bayareexecutivecoach.com if that sounds good or explore the website, BayAreaExecutiveCoach.com, and then fill out the message form, and we'll talk soon. Thank you very much.